I'm Ridge. I'm Maddie. And I'm Lincoln. And, and this, this is Raptor, Raptor News. News. Hey, that's not proper etiquette to throw your trash away. But here's a video on how you can help our janitorial and cafeteria staff. I hit the spot. That, that was, was, so, that was good. so good. Are right, you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, right, throw these away real quick. Yeah. Just throw them away. No one's going to find out. Bro, are you sure? I swear, no one. All right, all right, it doesn't matter. All right. Oh my god! I swear to god, not again! Oh no! Dude, please put these in the designated areas! Definitely. Oh, okay. Can you show us where those are? Please. I am tired of the bowls, plates, and trays getting in front of my home. Put them on the shelves for crying out loud. It's annoying. How would you feel if I tossed things into your home, eh? Raptors, make sure to put your trays and dishes away once you're done eating. And don't throw them away. Looks like I won't be doing that again. Does anyone know what FCCLA stands for? I'm not sure. Do you, Maddie? No, but Jackson and Tommy have a video this week. Let's check it out. Um, FCCLA is, so it stands for Family Career Community Leaders of America. Um, it is a club here. It's basically, I joined when I was a freshman, so it's kind of like a small community within the school where we just kind of help um, the community of our club out, and then the community of our school, and then the community of Bozeman out too. So it's just kind of fun to like be with a bunch of people that have the same ideas of volunteering or like getting to know other people and things like that. Um, I would say this year um, we're trying to do a lot more volunteer and we're trying to just like expand our club a lot more which is a lot fun. We just did a popsicle social. We meet every Thursday in room B121 um, during lunch with Miss Ringer um, and Mr. Mir always interrupts so. That was awesome. Thank you guys. Looks like I'll be joining FCCLA. I love composting, but I'm not sure what I can and can't put into my bins. Well, I just saw a video on Elon, Cooper, and Ben that they made about it, so let's check it out. Raptors! The compost is a very special thing in our school and should only be filled up with items such as meat, leftover meat scraps, fruits and vegetables, uh, nuts, nut shells, dairy products, and even, believe it or not, the school silverware that they put out during lunch. And should not contain chip bags, PB&J bags, any plastic bags, and do not put our plastic plates or bowls in the compost bin. Thank you for that great video. Hey Ridge, do you know of any good haunted houses this year? Actually, I heard of one. The theater club here at Gallatin is hosting one. Let's take a look at a video from Hannah. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to take a trip to Gotcha! Moving on. I think everyone should join a club. It's a great way to meet new friends, talk about what you love, and meet people with the same interests as you. Are you joining any clubs this year, Maddie? I haven't joined any clubs yet, but I was thinking of joining chess club. Well, here's some information about that. For me, chess club is something that all people of all ages can join. It's something that anyone can be good at. My favorite thing about chess is the community, for one, and thinking through your moves and finding something that you can be happy with. People should join chess club because it's something that everyone can enjoy and I think it really does help with academics in some ways, um, especially with like hand recognition, some memory, um, and I think it's just something that people can really enjoy. Checkmate. Oh. 
I wish I was smart enough to play chess. You don't have to be smart to play chess. <sighs> I'll be back. Finally ready. You fell right into my trap. No. Check me. Oh my gosh. Go to room A174 at lunch on Wednesdays if you want to be good at chess too. We have one final segment from Sports News, but that's all for Raptor News. I'm Ridge. I'm Maddie. And I'm Lincoln. Raptor, Raptor News out. out. Uh, what's up, Raptors? We're back here with a bunch of reviews with co-host Lewis Musual. What's up? And today we're we'll be talking about parking etiquette. Okay, Raptors. So remember, only juniors and seniors are allowed to park in the parking lot. If you are not a junior or senior, you have to park on this street or the neighborhoods. If you are a junior or senior, you can park in this parking lot or this parking lot. And if you get here early enough, you are allowed to park in these back rows of staff. Do not park in the front three rows of staff parking lot. Those are for teachers, not students. There's one parking. We want to look like Coach Chandler right here. I mean, he is perfectly in the lines, straightforward. I mean, that is a picture perfect parking. I mean, great guy, amazing at everything. What can I say? Now, here with Coach Yitz on the other hand, he's uh, in these yellow lines a little bit, and that is a big safety hazard. So, we don't want to be having that in case there is an emergency. So, Coach Yitz will need to work on his parking a little bit. Wrenches reviews, out. Make sure you guys are following directions. I, I can see you. You right there. Raptor Nation, welcome back to the best sports news in Raptor Vision history. I'm your host, Tommy Springman, joined by Kale Fasting, Miller Benton. We have some exciting sports news from all across our school. First off, our girls golf team won state by one stroke. We want to congratulate them for all their hard work and success this season. Now let's send it down to Jackson and head coach Matt Clark. All right, who are we here with today? Coach Clark. Coach Clark, how do you feel about your team this year? I feel great about the team, doing well. Are you guys ready for state? We are, we worked hard this season. Um, and I think we're peaking at the right time. Perfect, good luck out there, Coach. Thank you, buddy, appreciate it. Our Lady Raptor volleyball team is currently undefeated, only dropping one set the whole year. Two weeks ago, we beat the Hawks in Crosstown. Now let's take it down to Jackson and Coach Gus for an interview. today, Miss Gus. I'm doing great, Jackson. Thanks. How do you feel about that Raptor win? It was a good solid win. Anytime you can win in three, it's a good night. It's always nice to uh, beat Belgrade. All right. Great win tonight, Miss Gus. Have a good night. All right. We're here with senior captain Taylor Speak. Taylor, how are you feeling about this season so far? I'm feeling great. We are currently undefeated with one set dropped. How are you feeling with the rest of the season coming up? It's good. You know, State is on November 16th at the Brick. Be there. At the Brick, baby. Be there. Our Raptor football. They're currently undefeated right now. Two weeks ago, they played Great Falls High. 51 to 10 victory. 51 to 10? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, Carter Dolke and Reese Dolke combined for seven touchdowns the whole game. Seven? Seven. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> now we're going to set it down with Jackson talking to a few players after the game and Coach Yates. Who are we here with today? Coach Yates. Coach Yates, how are you feeling about the Raptors this year? Feeling good. We're wrapped up this year so far. Yeah, how do you feel about that Crosstown game, huh? It was a great game. Uh, good energy. I was happy about the uh, student section. You guys brought the you guys brought the boom. All right, who are we here with right now? Uh, Luke Jenkins. Luke, how do you feel about that common Raptor W? Uh, great ball stop. They were going to come in here and beat us, and uh, we had a great game. 51 time, baby. Go Raps, baby. Go Raptors. Beat the scoreboard. 51-10. Raptor Vision out.